Very good. I'd like to welcome everyone to the Town of Lexington Council meeting. This meeting is being held at Town Hall Monday evening, November 7th, 2022. This meeting is being broadcast live on the Town's Cable Information Channel 1301 and on the Town's YouTube channel. I'm Steve McDougall, the Mayor of the Town of Lexington. At this time, I'd like to introduce to you my fellow council members. To my left is Mayor Pro Tem Hazel Livingston. Good evening. To her left is Council Member Todd Carnes. Good evening. To his left is Council Member Steve Baker. Good evening. To my right is Council Member Kathy Manus. Good evening. To her right, Council Member Ron Williams. Good evening. And to his right, Council Member Todd Lyle. Good evening. I'd like to ask Council Member Lyle if he would give the opening invocation for tonight's meeting. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Bow your heads with me. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this town and all the great citizens here and all the folks who dedicate so much to help make uh, our place so great. We thank you that um, you've provided all this to us and we would be uh, remiss if we did not um, give you the great thanks for providing us with all this. Uh, we ask you to also keep in mind uh, as Veterans Day comes up, um, we hold fast to those who've made sacrifices um, at various different levels to allow us to enjoy what we have. Uh, we thank you again for all you've given us ask you to uh, continue to bless this town. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Council Member Lyle. At this time, I'd like to welcome Lexington County veteran, U.S. Army retired Sergeant First Class Rich Little. If you would please come to the microphone and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. Everyone, please rise. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mr. Little, thank you for being with us tonight. It was uh, a joy to see you at the parade, and I hope you enjoyed your parade. I hope you enjoy this week coming up was, and get it some... It was a blast. Good. It's, uh, you know, when you think back to Vietnam, when welcomes were not... Uh, Ran or not too often placed, and it's always heartwarming to come into the parade and be accepted so readily and so generously. So it's it's a good thing. Good. Thank you so much for being with us tonight. Thanks for being a member of our community. Thank you. At this time, I will call the meeting to order. Our first order of item is to report on executive session this evening. Tonight's executive session had one routine personnel matter. We had two legal issues. One issue was regarding pending litigation and one was advice regarding agenda items. We had one downtown development issue. No vote was taken in executive session other than to vote to adjourn executive session. Do I have a motion to ratify the mayor's executive session report? So moved. Mr. Baker makes a motion. Do I have a second? Second. Mr. Williams second. Sat. all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Are there any deletions on tonight's agenda? Anyone like to take anything off the agenda tonight? Very good. Hearing none, we'll move right into approval of minutes. Copy of the minutes from the work session on October 17, 2022 were provided to you in your packets. Are there any omissions, additions, or corrections for work session October 17, 2022? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve those minutes? So moved. Mr. Williams makes a motion. Second. Councilmember Carnes. Yes. Second that motion. All those in favor, please raise your right hand. Those minutes are approved. At this time, we'll move into presentations. Our first presentation this evening is a proclamation recognizing World Pancreatic Cancer Day, read by Councilmember Ron Williams. Mr. Williams. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I believe this proclamation will be mailed to the South Carolina Pancreatic Cancer A Action Network in Mount Pleasant, South Carolina. This resolution declaration, November 17th, is World Pancreatic Cancer Day in the town of Lexington. Whereas in 2022, an estimated 62,210 people will be diagnosed with pancreatic cancer in the United States and 49,830 will die from the disease. Whereas pancreatic cancer is one of the deadliest cancers, it's currently the third leading cause um, of cancer death in the United States, 
and is projected to become the second leading cause around 2030. Whereas pancreatic cancer is the only major cancer with a five-year relative survival rate at just 11%. Whereas when symptoms of pancreatic cancer present themselves, it is generally in the later stages and 91% of pancreatic cancer patients die within the first five years. Whereas approximately 880 deaths will occur in South Carolina in 2022, whereas pancreatic cancer is the seventh most common cause of cancer-related death across the world. Whereas there, are, <coughs> there were an estimated 418,000 new pancreatic cases uh, diagnosed worldwide in 2020. Whereas the good health and well-being of the residents of Lexington are enhanced as a direct result of, a, of increased awareness about the symptoms and risk of pancreatic cancer and research into early detection causes and effectment treatments. Therefore, be it resolved that the mayor, Steve McDougall, designated November 17th as World Pancreatic Cancer Day in the town of Lexington, South Carolina. Signed, Mayor Steve McDougall. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Williams. I believe we're going to mail that away yes, to sir. them. They're not with us tonight, but... Glad to recognize that. Our next presentation this evening is a proclamation recognizing Small Business Saturday read by Council Member Kathy Maness. Ms. Maness. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. A proclamation of the Mayor and Council for the Town of Lexington proclaiming Saturday, November 26, 2022 as Small Business Saturday. Whereas, according to the United States Small Business Administration, there are 32.5 million small businesses in the United States representing 99.7% of firms with paid employees in the United States, and they are responsible for 62% of net new jobs created since 1995. And small businesses employ 46.8% of the employees in the private sector in the United States, and whereas 79% of consumers understand the importance of supporting the small businesses in the community on Small Business Saturday. 70% report the day makes them want to encourage others to shop small at independently owned retailers, and 66% report that the day makes them want to, small, to shop small all year long. And whereas 58% of shoppers reported they shopped online with a small business, and 54% reported they dined or ordered takeout from a small restaurant, bar, or cafe on Small Business Saturday in 2021, and whereas advocacy groups as well as public and private organizations across the country have endorsed the Saturday after Thanksgiving as Small Business Saturday. Now, therefore, it be proclaimed by the Mayor and Council for the Town of Lexington, South Carolina, that Saturday, November 26, 2022, is hereby declared as Small Business Saturday, and all citizens are urged to support small businesses and merchants on Sp Small Business Saturday and throughout the year. Dated the 7th day of November, 2022, Steve McDougall, Mayor. Very good. Thank you, Ms. Maness. I believe this one will also be mailed away. Thank you very much. That concludes our presentations for this evening. At this time, I will have a vision plan update for November 2022. Virginia Hilton Park, the expansion and renovation of Virginia Hilton Park continues. Some of the new park features include an exercise station, a giant chess set, and horseshoes. The park is unfortunately closed during construction, but will be reopened in sections as they are completed. Moving on to the Old Mill Pond Trail as work continues on the Old Mill Pond Dam, the town is finalizing acquiring easements for the walking trail that will go around the pond. It will be one mile long and will be lit for nighttime walking. The plan is to go to bed at the end of the month and work is started. It is expected to take about a year to complete that walking trail. These are just an example of the goals that we have set in our vision plan. If you'd like to take a look at them, you can find them at the town's website at lexsc.com. This time we'll move into a traffic update from Mayor Pro Tem. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Daytime lane closures will take place this week at Swartz Road and East Main Street as a right turn lane is added at the future Freddy's Restaurant location. Work continues at Gibson Road and South Lake Drive to install a new signal.
Please exercise caution in this area due to the construction. The next traffic committee meeting is scheduled for November the 16th at 8 a.m. And please call 803-358-7273 to report any traffic signal issue, unsafe roadway condition, or a pothole that needs repair. Thank you very much, Mayor Pro Tem. This time we'll move into public hearings. Speakers are limited to five minutes. We will now open the public hearing. Our first item is final reading of an ordinance amending the mobile food vendor ordinance. Anyone here wish to speak to that? Hearing none, that concludes our public hearings for this evening. We'll move right into old business. Our first item of old business is from Council Member Kathy Manis. This is final reading of an ordinance amending the mobile food vendor ordinance. Council Member Manis. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. At the September work session, Town Council discussed the following changes to the mobile food vendor ordinance to be better aligned with the surrounding communities and remain competitive from an economic development perspective. The deletion of the food trailer definition, change to the definition of catering truck, and change in annual permit process allowing property owners to hold permits. I make a motion for final reading of an amendment to the mobile food vendor ordinance. Ms. Manis makes a motion. Is there a second? I'll second. second. Mr. Williams seconds the motion. Any further discussion? <clears throat> Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Council Member Todd Carnes. This is a, I'm sorry, this moves into new business. My apologies. It's our first item of new business. is a resolution adopting the All Natural Hazards Risk Assessment and Mitigation Plan for the Central Midlands Region of South Carolina. Council Member Carnes. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. As part of the Disaster Mitigation Act of 2000, the Federal Emergency Management Agency requires all counties to create and maintain a hazard mitigation plan. A FEMA-approved and locally adopted hazard mitigation plan is a requirement to solicit federal grants under the Hazard Mitigation Assistance Program. Mitigation strategies listed in this hazard mitigation plan are eligible for the Hazard Mitigation Grant Program the Building Resilient Infrastructure and Communities Grant, and the Flood Mitigation Assistance Grants. The Central Midlands Council of Governments is the designated lead agency to coordinate jurisdictions, compile information, and develop the hazard mitigation plan for the Central Midlands region. This plan represents an update of the 2016 Central Midlands Hazard Mitigation Plan and includes new hazard and vulnerability assessments, recommendations for new strategies, as well as a status update of past hazard mitigation actions. Mr. Mayor, I make a motion for approval of a resolution adopting the Central Midlands All Natural Hazards Risk Assessment and Mitigation Plan for the Town of Lexington. Very good. Mr. Carnes makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Lyle seconds that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Councilmember Ron Williams. This is first reading of an ordinance amending the land development ordinance. This relates to corner setbacks. Mr. Williams. The town's land development ordinance currently allows this side yard setbacks on corner lots to be half the distance of the front yard setback. This allows the setback to be as little as seven and a half feet in certain circumstances. The Planning Commission am recommended amending this ordinance to require these setbacks to be at least 15 feet during their op October meeting. I'll make a motion for first reading approval of an ordinance amending, amending the land development ordinance corner lot setbacks. Mr. Williams makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Mr. Carnes seconds that motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Council Member Steve Baker. This is first reading of an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance, chart of height, setback, buffer, and parking requirements for each activity. Council Member Baker. Thank you, Mr. Mayor and Council. The previous zoning ordinance included a section that allowed the, uh, allowed appro the approving authority discretion 
to approve a variety of commercial activities on properties with industrial zoning if the project meets certain criteria. This section was omitted from the recent zoning rewrite. The Planning Commission recommended amending the zoning ordinance to reinstate the following section of the zoning, zoning ordinance. On parcels that are zoned industrial, whether or not those parcels are located in an industrial special overlay district, the approving authority has the discretion to allow not only the uses that are expressly listed in the chart of permitted uses as being allowed on parcels that are zoned industrial, but also any commercial activity that is permitted by the chart. The decision whether to allow a particular commercial activity on a parcel zoned industrial shall be based on criteria that include but are not limited to whether the location is reasonable for such use, whether the intent of the zoning district supports such a use, whether the intent of the road classification supports such a use, whether the proposed use is compatible with existing adjacent and nearby uses, whether the proposed use is likely to be compatible with future industrial uses on adjacent or nearby parcels, whether the setbacks and buffers between the proposed use and existing adjacent use is reasonable, whether the height ratio is reasonable in relation to the heights of adjacent and nearby uses, and whether the activity is in the best interest of the public health, safety, and general welfare. I make a motion for first reading approval of an ordinance amending the zoning ordinance chart of height, setback, buffer, and parking requirements for each activity. Mr. Baker makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Councilmember Corn seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. <clears throat> that is unanimous. Our next item of new business is from Councilmember Todd Lyle. This is first reading of an ordinance annexing Lexington County tax map number 0053000-02-014, located at 1059 Bonham Richard Road. Councilmember Lyle. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Capital Concrete Company owns approximately 12.4 acres on three parcels located at 1059 Bonham Richard Road and has petitioned to annex this particular property. A concrete plant is located on this site. Properties in town near this one are zoned Protected Residential 2 and Bonham Richard Road is classified as a collector road. The Planning Commission will review this application during their November meeting to make a recommendation on zoning and road classification for this particular parcel. At this time, Mr. Mayor, I would uh, move for first reading approval of an ordinance annexing Land Lexington County tax map number 5300-02-014 located at 1059 Bonham Richard Road. Mr. Lyle makes a motion. Is there a second? Second. Council Member Baker seconds the motion. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all those in favor, please raise your right hand. That is unanimous. That concludes our business for this evening. At this time, we will hear announcements from Council Member Todd Corns. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I want to start off and uh, wish a happy belated birthday to my fellow Council Member Todd Lyle. Celebrated a birthday last Wednesday. Uh, we want to uh, just say thanks to everyone who came out for the Lexington Veterans Parade yesterday. It was a great time, and a special thank you for all of our veterans, for all of your service, sacrifice for our country. We're very grateful, and it's a uh, small way we can show that every year. The Ice House Amphitheater and Pavilion has already started getting ready for the Snowball Festival. It runs December 1st through December 4th with a wide variety of events. Uh, it's a great time for everybody. You can go to icehouseamphitheater.com for a detailed list of events each of those four days. We have multiple upcoming town meetings in November. The Traffic Committee meets at 8 a.m. on November 16th. Town Council will meet again on November 21st at 6 p.m. for the Council Work Session in the Conference Center. Planning Commission will meet on November 30th at 8 a.m. here in Council Chambers. Town Hall will be closed November 11th in observance of Veterans Day and November 24 and 25 for Thanksgiving. Uh, tomorrow, of course, is Election Day. So everybody be good citizens. Go out and vote your conscience, and let's move our country forward. 
And finally, on behalf of the mayor and council members, we just want to thank you for tuning in tonight to our town council meeting. With Thanksgiving coming up, we hope you guys have a, a great Thanksgiving. We sure do have a lot to be grateful for in our country, especially in our state and our town. Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Carnes. Anyone else have anything they'd like to add? Hearing none, any questions from the news media this evening? Anything? Very good. Thank you for being with us. Appreciate you covering it. Any public comments regarding tonight's agenda? Anybody have any questions or comments about the agenda? Very good. That concludes our business for this evening. Thank you for watching the town council meeting for the town of Lexington. This meeting was held at Town Hall on Monday evening, November 7, 2022. A recording of this meeting will be available for viewing on the town's cable information channel, 1301, and on the town's YouTube channel. Without objection, we are adjourned.